Hi guys, it's Holly, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a herd update. I wanted to start with a sneak peek of how I decorated the shed for Christmas. I go into depth on everything that I bought and exactly how I decorated it in a video that is coming very shortly, and that one I'm really excited about. It'll show you everything that I did, everything I bought, and a little sneak peek kind of vlog style of me decorating it. So that one should be a really fun video, so keep a lookout. Now let's go right into the updates. Alright, so I have quite a few things to update you guys on. Lots and lots of babies and sad update as well that I haven't really talked about and I've kind of been avoiding, but I think you guys should know, um, but it's going to be hard to talk about, so let's just get started. So anyway, let's start with the good news. Um, the babies are doing great. They are most definitely fuzzies, both of Angie's babies. She had a fuzzy in her last litter too, but I was hoping these ones would not be. Um, the black is 100% a fuzzy, and I think the opal is too, but I'm not 100% sure for that one yet. They're also both girls, and they're both super, super cute. They're so cute. I'm thinking of some Halloween names for them. Not, not sure what yet, but I think they're going to be... Really cute. Oh, look at her. She's so cute. They're both doing great. Buttercup is doing great. She's a fabulous mom. And yeah, they're just all doing fantastic. I'm really excited with how well these babies have been doing. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Buttercup. Over here, we have Butterfly and her little mischief maker. This guy is super, super fat. Looks like he's cuddling her for warmth. He doesn't like to stay in his nest box. I'm sure as a singleton it gets so lonely there. Yeah. He's doing great. Well, I don't know the gender yet, but... Butterfly's little one is doing fantastic. Super precious little black. All the babies have their eyes open now, which is really fun. So fun to watch them hop around. They're about two and a half weeks old now, so... In the cutest, cutest stage. They're so precious. That's her little one. I'm not sure on the genders yet of these little guys, but we still got some time. And then right over here in a fern's cage, we have her trio. I don't know if I mentioned it yet or not, but one of her babies passed away um, a couple weeks ago. So they're also about two and a half weeks. This little chinchilla reminds me exactly of her daddy, his or her daddy. Um, Prince Charming, so I've just been calling him Prince Charming Jr. Oh my gosh, guys, did you see that yawn? It was the cutest, cutest thing. Hello, Prince Charming Jr. My gosh, guys, they are precious. I am in love. Chinchilla is one of my absolute favorite colors, and chocolate chinchilla is just precious. So these babies are my favorites right now. They are so cute. And then the little, the little black one. That's not really black, but it looks black. They're all super fat and chubby and doing great. Oh, I'll give you cuddles too. Yes, little one. The little chocolate chin is licking me. This color, guys, I didn't think I would get a chocolate chin, but it is the most beautiful color. I'm so excited. Even if it's not a color that I can keep that has the quality, I'm just so excited to have a color like this that I get to watch grow up and develop. So precious. Look at those tiny, cute little ears. I'm really hoping this one is nice. Oh, are you nibbling? You're giving me kisses? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the kisses. Look at that face, you guys. It just can't get any cuter. It 100% cannot get cuter. It's so stinking cute. I could just stay out here with these babies literally forever. There's all of life. There are Mimi's babies, and then over here is um, Mimi's little broken chestnut, and then it's Zuzu's little girl. And the sad news that I did want to say is that Dee Dee passed away. Um, the babies were weaned about four days ago now, and about two days after they were weaned, um, I just found her dying. 
and I guess um, that morning she had been 100% fine, so I have no idea what it was, but because she had just been weaned, my gosh, sorry about the lighting, I think it was something um, just about failure to thrive, and she just wasn't thriving without her mom, or um, maybe she broke her back being crazy and jumping or something, but it's just insane to me how a bunny can go from being 100% fine and then dead in less than 24 hours. Um, but it was devastating and really, really heartbreaking. So that was just the sad news that I wanted to talk about. Um, yeah, that's all I want to say about that. Um, it was just really hard and I'm still processing and it sucked. But um, in this litter, the other little broken, um, I think Trixie, was sold, and then we just have Miss Dixie, who's the little broken chestnut, and then Miss Cleo, and her brother Balto was sold as well as a pet. So, just have the two of them, and then I'm watching these two for now, and then um, these two girls are, well, um, Millie back there is sold, and then... This Harley is the only one still available, so these sweethearts are doing fabulous. They're doing really good. I was worried it might, when Dee Dee died, I was worried it might be something that, like she was sick or something, but her sisters are absolutely fine. Every other bunny is absolutely fine, so it was just a really sudden, really tragic thing. My mom asked me the other day why. I keep breeding rabbits if I have loss that really affects me, um, and a big reason, let's say out of the way, is these guys. Just look at them. And Frankie over here too. Hi Frankie. I just love the babies. I love good mamas like Miss Fern. I love seeing new colors and finding out more about color genetics and I love just playing with the babies, snuggling with them, um, letting my two-year-old cousin come in here and hold them and I just love their different personalities and how every single one of them is unique. in bed too. I love snuggling them. I love the fuzzy ones. They're just so cute. I just love bunnies and even though there is some hardship, I feel like with anything that is truly rewarding and something that you really love to do, there's always going to be negative aspects and I feel like when you have life and love there's also going to be sadness and death um, and that's just a part of life but yeah that's that's why I keep doing it even though there are such negative aspects to this hobby as well. Talker is one of the reasons why I keep breeding bunnies. He's one of the fattest most chubbiest bunnies that I have and I love him. Look at that face you guys. Look at that face. No amount of hardship can ever can ever make me not love this face. He's a snug snuggle monkey. It took him a long time to be so snuggly because he was a brat when he was a baby. Um, when he was like 12 to 14 weeks old he was just a brat. And so, it took him a long time to be able to be held like this without flipping out. But he's a sweetheart. We just left him. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I know this video was a little bit sad. It was a little bit happy. It was super cute. Um, it was kind of all over the place. But thank you guys again for watching. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed all the cute moments and seeing the babies. And I'll try to do some more updates when I can. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye, Takash. Bye-bye. <laughs>